Osteoarthritis, you're gonna encounter a lot. Rheumatoid arthritis, you're gonna wonder if they have it a lot. All these patients with osteoarthritis, they've often been worked up for rheumatoid arthritis and have negative findings. Your osteoarthritic patient, he's typically gonna be an older patient, or she an older patient, and uh, increased BMI overweight. The pain is going to be in the knees. You can find this in 30 year olds actually because of the increase in obesity at a young age. But osteoarthritis, yeah, you're going to see it left and right. Rheumatoid arthritis, not so much. So what do these patients look like? Well, the osteoarthritic patient, as I said, older, overweight, with pain in their knee, in their shoulder, with a history of carpentry or other kind of intense labor, uh, gardeners, cleaners. These patients will not have had trauma occur. This is from overuse. Rheumatoid arthritis is classically a woman and they're gonna be complaining of symmetrical pain. Where? In their hands, likely. So when you're getting a history about the pain, whatever it may be, know that an osteoarthritic patient is likely going to wake up pain-free or with less pain than they will have at the end of the day from all that overuse. At the end of the day, they're taking everything and anything to get rid of this pain just so they can have a good night's sleep. The rheumatoid arthritic patient may wake up with stiffness and pain, but this improves throughout the day. I used to think of it when I learned of it as like the lubrication is kind of uh, moving and so their arthritis improves. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disorder. So suspect this in patients with other autoimmune disorders, especially if you know that they carry the gene for HLA DR4. So what are the difference in the physical exam findings of an OA patient and an RA patient? Well, the OA patient, at least in my experience, these patients have pain at the larger joints, the knees, maybe the hip, the shoulder. Um, and with range of motion testing, you might feel some crepitus and some reproduction of that pain. Rheumatoid arthritic patients, their physical exam findings may be very subtle or you may get an advanced rheumatoid arthritic patient whose physical exam findings are extremely astonishing. Severe ulnar deviation of the fingers, swan neck deformity, or boutonniere deformity of the fingers. By the time you see these things, you're likely not the doctor that's gonna be diagnosing them. They've probably already been diagnosed. I haven't seen rheumatoid arthritis to that severity many times in my young career, but I know it when I see it. I think maybe twice. OA, all the time. The rheumatoid arthritis is often looked for and not found, suspected, but not there. So your osteoarthritic patients might get worked up with labs but there's no labs to order an osteoarthritic patient, maybe a CRP or an ESR, non-specific inflammatory markers. But for your rheumatoid arthritic patients or those you suspect to have it, the most specific and sensitive test is going to be the anti-CCP test. Of course, that's along with your rheumatoid factor. In the lab work for the rheumatoid arthritic patient, because rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic disease, you may find anemia just like other chronic diseases with anemia of chronic disease. The imaging of an osteoarthritic patient, it's gonna show joint space narrowing because of all that wear and may also show some osteophyte formation. Rheumatoid arthritic patients are going to have bone erosions seen on x-ray. If you aspirate the fluid of an osteoarthritic patient's joint, you're not gonna get much, but a rheumatoid arthritic joint, you're gonna see an increase in neutrophils in that fluid. Diagnosing, well, as I said, OA, you diagnose it based on your history, your physical exam, and maybe a negative rheumatoid arthritis workup. And your rheumatoid arthritis, you're gonna diagnose with that anti-CCP marker. So how do we treat osteoarthritis? Not NSAIDs, because NSAIDs have a long list of side effects and contraindications, including a uh, history of gastric ulcers or GI bleed. You don't want to use them in your hypertensive patients. You don't want to use them in your chronic kidney disease patients. You don't want to use NSAIDs with anticoagulants. And these patients that are older, obese, with osteoarthritis, they're likely going to have some other disease. And so be careful with the NSAID use. Rheumatoid arthritis treatment 
I don't have a lot of experience with. It seems to be a little bit more complicated, but I do know you may want to choose a disease modifying agent, a DMARD. The classic one being methotrexate with the side effect of bone marrow suppression. And when your rheumatoid arthritic patient is in an acute flare, you can go ahead and prescribe some steroids.